literally CEO of Google, CEO of Slack, number three guy at Facebook, just back to Wait, back to back. The CEO of Google was the one getting grilled? Someone. Yeah, you gotta like... So I got a Rupert Murdoch story because he said Murdoch... Um, I'm so impressed with this dude. So he gets a lot of hate because like his business practices and whatnot. People think he's like a tyrant in a way. Um, he is. And he is. And like the show success succession is basically about their family. Um, good show. So we had this opportunity to pitch Rupert Murdoch. So uh, Michael, who's my investor comes to me and says, Hey, we got invited to this thing. Um, basically every year during CES, Rupert Murdoch uh, brings all the CEOs of his companies um, through News Corp. So they own Wall Street Journal, I think, or New York uh, New York Post, they own and Fox, and Sky. And, and like, then they own uh, Penguin Publishing. Right. They own um, uh, Realtor.com. So he is the media mogul, right? Like, that's cool. So basically, once a year, they all get together. It's during CES. They go to the Wynn, and they rent out the entire top floor of Wynn. And so all the rooms there are all the execs. And they have the biggest suite, the penthouse suite of the Wynn, and what they do is they – and I, I really admire this. They go from 8 a.m. to about 7 p.m. every single day for two days straight. And every hour is just they, – they just bring in a speaker. Um, not like a speaker. It's like a, an industry leader from something. And they just, um, they just grill them. So it's like you, you start by just telling me a little bit about your business. And then it's 30 minutes of Q&A from the CEOs of all these companies because they're trying to figure out, okay, how do we play into this? So when I was there, it was like – Literally CEO of Google, CEO of Slack, number three guy at Facebook, just back to Wait, back to back. The CEO of Google was the one getting grilled? Yeah, he would go and he would explain, here's what, here's where we're going Why next year. that guy? Isn't that guy? Because what? these are big media partners for them. They they want to have these media partners working with them. So they'll say, here's where we're going next year. And, uh, but it's off the record, right? So it's more candid than you're ever going to get these guys. And I, uh, they told me, you can just come for your slot, you know, this 45 minute slot but Rupert's here the whole but time. I was like I'm sitting here the whole day like this is why, like with why my did popcorn. you get to sit there because we were going to present at the end of the day and so we had access oh. so I just sat there at 8 a.m. I'm there with my seat so here's what I noticed during the day a lot of the CEOs you know they'd be interested in certain people but for the most part you know they get hungry they go to the bathroom Rupert Murdoch I don't know how old he is this guy's like 80s like he looks old and he is old and that guy sat right up front with a paper and a pencil, did not get up, did not take a break. He was the he most didn't take a piss. didn't take a piss. He was the most attentive. He asked the best questions. He was like a machine, and I was like, "That's why this guy's Rupert Murdoch." I was so impressed by this guy, um, his just endurance, really, and also just his level of focus, where everybody else was wandering um, throughout the day because that's what you normally do, and that's kind of contagious. Did he ask questions? But I loved how the leader was like on point because it held everybody else like closer to that standard. Did he ask questions? He asked good questions, yeah. Which is funny because if you're the CEO of one of his companies, you're already maybe a billion, and some of them might be billionaire. I mean, you're a, you're you're up there. I don't know if you're billionaire, but yeah, you're maybe doing super well. If you sold, like, it'd be like your. It was like the CEO of Fox Studios. Like, oh yeah, we make these movies for this year, and it's like, oh whatever, you know, Marvel. But like, it's like these are big individual brands. You're you're a big, you're a big swinging dick. You're yeah, a big guy. So that was incredible. I just thought that was really cool, and I got to give him props for that. It was I was very impressed. <sighs> That's crazy. Uh... Thank you.